right, it's Dr. Allen from Evolve Chiropractic here in Woodstock. We're going to be doing some kneeling hip hinges. Now this exercise is going to be very, very good for training your body how to flex, especially if we're going to either like pick things up to reach. A lot of the times when people injure their low backs, it happens when they're reaching for something and rotating. Right, so this is gonna train us how to keep our low back stable while still hinging at the hips and flexing forward. So to do this, it's ideal to have some kind of like a pillow or a pad. Uh, if you're doing it on carpet, usually it's fine, but just something to protect your knees a little bit because we are gonna be in a kneeling position. So from here, we're gonna use a dowel rod. This isn't anything fancy, just a basic stick. Uh, it's like a curtain rod from a closet. You can use something very basic like that. You can use a broomstick. Again, doesn't have to be anything fancy, just something you probably already have laying around the house. So to do this properly, what you're gonna wanna do is place the stick on your back and you want it to touch three different areas. You want it to touch the very lowest part of your spine, which is called your sacrum. You want it to touch the middle part of your back and you want it to touch your head. Now these three points have to stay on the stick at all times. So as we go into this, we're going to press our hips back, kind of like I'm gonna sit back on my heels. Now, if the stick starts to come off your spine, you have to fix that. So if it comes off the lower part, I'm gonna lift my chest up a little bit. If it comes off my head, I'm gonna press my head back. If it comes off my mid back, right, I'm usually gonna pull my ribs in and uh, tighten up a little bit through here to make sure that that spine stays against the stick. So make sure first, before you begin, those three points are touching. And then from here, we're going to slowly start to drop the bottom back toward the heels, keeping the chest up nice and tall. And then we come back up. So slow and steady is kind of the key for this one. And just being very aware of what's touching the stick and if something slowly starts to come off. Again, the most common presentation of error we see with this is gonna be flexing in through the lower part of the back. That is what puts you at most risk for blowing out a disc like a herniation or a strain pattern in the low back. So that's gonna be the most important part of kind of keeping your back isolated and nice and stable. So a good way to practice this is to do one of those decompression breaths. We breathe in, expand up, breathe out and tighten, and then go into your hip hinge. Slow and steady wins the race. Ideally, you do about 10 repetitions of this, three sets, do that two to three times per day. This is a very, very good exercise. It's not gonna be very easy because the body is used to being in a different pattern. Uh, if this is difficult, if it creates pain at all, just go easy on yourself. You don't have to sit all the way back on your heels. Even if you go back just like a couple inches and then forward and slowly work your way through that until you're able to sit back further. Try this out, see how it goes. Good luck, have fun, we'll see you soon.